What's up, YouTube? All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, using the micro, the internal microphone uh, on GarageBand, and I'm on a, I'm on a MacBook Pro. Okay, so uh, basically, what the problem was, I had a podcast to, project to do for school, and we we had to use GarageBand, and I couldn't get my voice to record. Hold on, let me get you a better picture. Okay, so that should be better. All right, so I couldn't get my voice to record using GarageBand. Let me pretty much show you what was going on. I figured, you know, you pull up GarageBand, do your podcast, whatever. We're going to use the first track, male voice. And then I figured just hit record like Pro Tools pretty much. So as you can see, as I'm talking to you guys, it's not recording my voice. As you can see, or down here because it highlights the track. Um, there's no sound wave. So obviously you're not recording anything, Other, otherwise it would pick up your sound wave. So, I'm just going to delete that real quick. Uh, so yeah, it had me stumped for a while. I was I was going to just record my voice using Pro Tools and then save it and switch it over to GarageBand, but I figured I'd have to figure out how to use it anyway. So what I did was, I went up to Spotlight, uh, typed in audio. And I see that uh, audio media setup. So I'm like, hmm, I'll go ahead and click on that. That's probably what I need to do. And I already had it pulled up. Just a second. So yeah, take two. Now, uh, audio media setup. And then you see your audio devices pull up. Well, well as you see, is click down here but uh, when you first do it if you haven't already at first you'll just see built-in microphone built-in input built-in output uh, which well what I did was I clicked on the plus sign down at the bottom uh, and then it'll have you you can save it to whatever name you want I saved it as built-in mic setup just so I know uh, and then this over here would pop up after you save your name or whatever and none of them were clicked so I just went ahead and clicked on built-in microphone and built-in input and then I just then I just exit out you don't have to click take you don't have to click uh, save changes or nothing like that uh, then I figured maybe I figured maybe uh, Maybe that would help me to record, but it still didn't work. Uh, so then, another thing though that I was noticing was down here you got you only have two buttons, and when I would was looking for the solution to use a microphone, every video tutorial that I saw had more than two buttons on each track. So I'm thinking like, what what's going on? <laughs> why is mine only got two buttons? Maybe that's why I can't record because one of the buttons on the track was a red circle, which is pretty universal as a record button as you see down here so so uh, and the only two buttons you have here is the headphones and a speaker with a line through it which I'm guessing is mute the track and then the headphones are probably solo track so I went up to track and as you see uh, at first you got at first you got uh, show arrangement track show master track and then I came down to enable multi-track recording. Click that, oh, and then, then the recording track, or the recording button pops up. Uh, but there were still more buttons, so I figured I'd just keep going. Track unlock, um, show monitoring. So then uh, that still didn't work when I would click on the record thing. So I'm like, man, what is really going on? So I figured. Let's check out the preferences. Went to preferences. Yeah, it's under it's on the general tab right here. And I went ahead and clicked on the audio preview. Now I'm not sh too sure if I actually needed that or not, but I just clicked on it anyway. But then I saw the audio media tab. And as you can see right here for media status, it has zero media inputs detected. So I'm like, wow. 
Well, no wonder it's not picking my voice up. So you got audio output, system settings. I just went ahead and changed that to built-in output. Uh, it says change audio driver. Do you really want to change the audio driver? This operation may take a minute. Hit yes. It doesn't really take too long, as you see. And then audio input is on system setting. And I went ahead and clicked it and went down to the name that I saved it as is built-in mic setup. Do you want to change? Yes. And there you have it. And again, you don't have to click you know, save changes or anything like that. You can just exit out. Now, as I'm talking to you, you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it too clearly, but over here, it pretty much tracks your voice. Like how down here, if you were recording, it would track your voice. It would be like green, yellow, and red. Like as you can see, as I get louder, you see it, well, I, if you can see it, it pops up to the red, like you're peaking, like you're too high pretty much. Uh, so now you, you pretty much know that the mic's picking you up. If you still want to check though, just go ahead and hit the record down here. Uh, and as you can see, as I'm talking to you, the sound wave is now coming up. So you're pretty much sure that it's recording you. But, but if you still don't want to believe it, just... Record. Just go ahead and hit the record down here. Uh, and as you can see, as I'm talking to you, the sound wave is now coming up. So you're pretty much. So yeah. So now you know a thousand percent sure that it's recording your voice. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Uh, like I said, it's probably not a big deal to other people. They probably knew what to do from the get go. It was hard for me. This is my first time using a Mac or GarageBand. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much just used to Pro Tools and I didn't have to go through all that type of stuff. But uh, hopefully this video helps somebody out because I was looking for, on YouTube, Google. I couldn't find anything. I found uh, something about sound using the built-in mic for Sound 1, but yeah, I didn't see anything for GarageBand. So. I figured I'd just make this video. Plus, it could probably I probably use it on the discussion board for my school. So I just knock out two things at once. So yeah, thanks for viewing my video.